So last time we built a basic personality survey, but I wanted to show you a couple of cool things you can add in before you share this with your friends. So here are a couple of ideas for you. One is um, if you add in uh, import web browser, this module will allow you to open up websites based on certain answers. So notice how I've got uh, my first question is, what's your favorite TV show? And if I write The Office, uh, I, I print out this phrase from Dwight, and then it opens up a link, wb.open. So the way you write that is like this. It's wb.open, and then open and close parentheses. And here are your quotes. And then you go and find a link and just paste it right in there. Now, that won't work unless you have this first line, import web browser as WB. Okay, so uh, some things I've added since the last video. I just added um, these hashtags, which are comments, uh, in front of each question. It makes it easier to read my code as I'm looking through it. So I ask one, two, three questions, and then I have the end of my survey where I'm going to add some other stuff. Okay, so in question one, I'm asking what's your favorite TV show? Uh, question two, I'm asking what's your favorite food? Question three, where do you want to go on vacation? What if I could keep track of the score, and if somebody gets all the answers that I like the most, I give them a secret ending that, um, you know, basically maybe it opens up one of my favorite videos. Um, what we can do is at the top of our code, underneath web browser as WB, import web browser, um, I'm going to make a variable called points. Points equals zero. At the start of our quiz, uh, our user has no points. But as they go through the quiz, maybe The Flash is, um, you know, not my favorite show, but The Office is. Well, what I want to do, I'm going to remove this just for now. Uh, Maybe what I want to do is give them a point if they choose the office. So after I print this out, I'm going to write points plus equals one. What this does is it goes back to this variable and it says, okay, what is it currently at? Well, it's currently at zero. Well, now I'm going to take the value zero and I'm going to add to it one and I'm just going to change whatever it was before to whatever it is plus one. So I'm going to take this, I know it's zero, I add one. And now points will equal one. So throughout this survey, maybe I want to add in uh, here after sushi. Sushi is my favorite. So you want to choose the one that is your favorite. You can do points plus equals one again. So that will take the value of whatever points was after you answered your first question. So by that I mean Beginning of our survey, we have no points. Let's say I answered the flash. Well, I still have no points, but this time I chose sushi. So it's going to look at points, which is still zero, and add one to it. Now my points are one. If I started the survey and I answered the office, I have one point. So when I get to question two, I want to add another point. So I take what points is at now, which is going to be zero plus one, so now I have one point. I add another one to it, so I've got two points. I get to my last question. Maybe I want to say the beach is my favorite. And I'll give someone one point. If Let's say you have a, a least favorite. Um, you can take away a point. So let's say hiking, for some reason I don't like it. Uh, that's not really true, but let's do points and then you can do minus equals one. So whatever your score was before, I'm gonna take away points. Now, at the end of our personality survey, we can tally up all these points and we can say, um, you know, if points uh, e equals zero, we can print, nice to meet you. Maybe it's somebody who we've never met before. LF points. Oh, I'm sorry. This should be two equals signs. 
uh, that's a comparison. L if points double equals one. So we got one point. We could print out. Sounds like we have something in common. Uh, L of points double equals two. We can print. We should hang out sometime. L of points double equals three. So if we got all three of them correct, print. Are we the same person? Now there is a possibility, you want to account for all of your possibilities. Um, there is a possibility that they got the first two questions wrong, or not wrong, but they're not the same as you. Maybe they did the flash and then pasta. And then here they did hiking. So they got a score of actually, you take zero at the beginning. They got no points here, no points here, and they lost a point. So they're actually at negative one. So we could add one more condition so uh, L if points is less than zero, print, we have nothing in common. It's still nice to, but thanks for taking my quiz, huh? <laughs> So now we've accounted for all the different options. Uh, let's try and run it and let's make sure those points are adding up. Okay, what's your favorite TV show? We'll do The Office, so we should have one point so far. What's your favorite food? Let's choose um, the, uh, let's do the right one first. Sushi, we'll, we'll test that condition. Uh, where do you wanna go on vacation? And how did I spell it over here? Was it, it's beach, just like that. Are we the same person? Let's run it again. Let's get it totally wrong. Flash, pizza, and then hiking in the mountains. We have nothing in common. So we knew we know we got less, fewer than zero points here. Uh, so we uh, we tested all all of these conditions at least. Um, we should go back and make sure that we test these ones as well. Um, that's one way you can make your quiz a little more interactive. Um, a cool thing uh, that you can also add is after each of these, you can add in a website that opens up. So if we're the same person, you could do wb.open. And in here, you can paste your favorite YouTube video. Um, if they have nothing in common, you could also add maybe a, a different YouTube video.